When we draw the demand curve, we start with the vertical axis, which is the price of the product. So, for instance, we can say the price of beer and the quantity of the product, which would then be the quantity of beer on the horizontal axis. So remember the price on the vertical axis and the quantity is always on the horizontal axis. The demand curve will look as follows. The demand curve is downward sloping from left to right. So the demand curve works as follows. If I, for instance, pay 6 Rand, or if the price is 6 Rand for a can of beer, then I, as the consumer, will be willing to pay or to purchase 25 cans of beer. But if the price is only 4 Rand, then I will be willing and able to purchase 35 cans of beer. So it works as follows. The higher the price, the lower the quantity demanded. But the lower the price, the higher the quantity demanded. This is called a negative relationship, meaning when the price increases from 4 to 6, then the quantity demanded will decrease from 35 to 25. So the price increases and the quantity demanded falls. We call this a movement along the curve. When the price increases from 4 to 6, the price increases, then we move along the curve. So there is an upwards movement along the curve. So when I start at a price of 4, let's call this point A, and my consumer is willing and able to purchase 35 units of beer, but the price increases to 6 Rand, then I move to this point, which I can call point B. That is the movement along the curve. This movement causes the initial quantity demanded, the number of beers that my consumers demanded, to fall to this point. You see, there's a movement along the curve. And now my quantity demanded is 25. We call this the law of demand. The higher the price, the lower the quantity demanded. The lower the price, the higher the quantity demanded.